Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. Let's understand symmetric relation. As you see the name says symmetric. Symmetric means things should be same. For example, if you see the uh, butterfly, this is symmetry. Whatever you see this side, same thing you see this side. If you see right, this is symmetry to this, this is same as this. It's all symmetric. If you cut this from this part equally, both are same. Similarly, in this leaf also, it's all symmetry. A lot of figures, if you see in the real world, all symmetric. This uh, leaf, if you cut, you will get symmetrical figure. The symmetry, as the name implies, that if let's suppose A1, A2 relation is holding true, that means A2, A1 relation should also hold true. I'll give you an example to explain this. So when I say that height of boys in the class, again same, same example, height of A1 is equal to height of A2. Please note here I am not comparing A1 with A1, I am comparing A1 with A2. Correct. So if I am saying that if height of A1 is equal to A2, this implies A2 is equal to A1. Please note, A1 is equal to A2, A1 to A2 implies A2 is equal to A1, that is A2 to A1. For example, let's suppose this guy is A2 or A1 and this guy is A2. And this guy is let's suppose A3 and this guy is A3. So when I say that height of A1 is equal to height of A2, this also implies height of A2 is equal to height of A1. Correct? This kind of relation is called symmetric relation. Please note here is equal to relation is there and this is called symmetric relation. A1 is equal to A2, so A2 is equal to also A1. So that means if a1 comma a2 is the member of this set, the relation set, so a2 comma a1 also has to be member of the set. If that is the case, if our relation has a1 comma a2, then it will also have a2 comma a1. Such kind of relation is called symmetric relation. To make doubts more clear, let me first explain example of a non-symmetric relation. Example, same thing. Height of boy A1, A2, where I am saying A1 is greater than A2, height. So, if you see, height of A1 is greater than A2, this does not imply A2 is greater than A2. For example, this guy is, let's suppose again, this guy is A1, this is A2, and this is A3, and this is A4. In this one, so if I say A1 is greater than A2, this does not mean that A2 is greater than A2. Correct? Because this guy is taller than this guy and this guy is shorter than this guy actually. So if A1 comma A2 is part of this relation because it's greater than the relation here, then A2 comma A1 is not part of relation. Correct? If in relation are you have even A2, then A2 comma A1 is not there. Or if you have A2, A1, A1, A2 is not there. So Either of these will have. Then such kind of relation is called non-symmetric. So in symmetric means if you flip. So please note the word here flip. The keyword here is flip. So if a1, a2 is there, you flip it, it becomes a2, a1. Both are there, that means symmetric relation for any 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 number. In non-symmetric, if you have a1, a2, and if you don't have a2, a1, that means it is non-symmetric relation. Even if you don't have one single A2, A1 for A1, A2, that means it is non-symmetric. You should have all. Then only the relation is called symmetric relation. Correct? So for symmetric relation, what to do? You have to take two objects. Please note, in case of reflexive, you are talking about only one guy. A1, 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 A1. Only one person. If I'm talking about A1, I'm talking about A1, comma A1, sir. If I'm talking about A2, I'm talking about A2, comma A1, A2, sir. Correct? That is a different story altogether. In reflexive, it is A1, A1, A2, A2, that kind of pair. A3, A3, because they are mirror image. But in symmetric, you flip. If you flip this, you will see the same leaf. 
if you flip this butterfly, you'll see the same butterfly. Similarly, if you flip an object in a symmetric relationship, the object which you get after flipping should be there as part of relation. Then only that object is called symmetric relation. For example, A1, A2 is part of this relation object. If I flip this, it becomes A2, A1. And if I see here, A2, A1 is also part of this set. So this kind of relation is called symmetric relation. While in this case, A1 height is greater than A2, I can see here. So A1, A2 was part of this set. But when I flip this, this becomes A2, A1. So A2, A1 implies height of A2 is greater than A1. Which is not true. Because A2 is less than A1. So this element is not part of this set. Correct. So in that case, this is not a symmetric. Please note, in case of reflexive, it's only one object we are dealing with, it's a mirror image, only one person, A1, A1, A2, A2, A3, A3, A3 or A and A N. But in case of symmetric, we have two objects and we flip it. If it is A1, A2, we try to see if A2, A1 is part of the relation. If it is A, comma B, we try to say if B, comma A is also part of relation. So that is the difference between symmetric relation and reflexive relation. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.